He never saw it coming and it was, you can go watch the replay, it's about a two inch punch. Man, he just got caught swinging a little bit wild. It was a great knockout. Excuse me, he's very strong, very physical in there, a lot more than he was before. You know, uh, a possible retirement, possible rematch, but I'm not sure which way we're going to go right now. Feels and uh, what he wants to do, and then if we get back, if we do fight again, and we get back in the gym, and uh, I see good signs, we'll go on. If I see bad signs, we won't. You know, I I'd love to get a rematch, but um, is that the best move right away? Should we try him out and, and maybe a soft fight first? So there's a lot of different things we have to think about, and it's very complicated, and it's not going to be overnight. Power comes with great responsibility. Have you have you learned that lesson in recent years? Yes, sir. The, God wants us want us to to humble ourselves. But that's hard to be when the world wants you. I know, but stay humble. Don't don't put that the fame in your head. Don't ever think that you're you're popular. You're you're you know you're whoever you are. You're, you're a champion, you're a uh, greatest. Don't put it in your head because that's you know, the beginning of you getting changed. Stay your, you know, stay your feet in the ground.
we don't have um, money to buy food and that's why I decided to um, enter in boxing. I was thinking that how I can make money to help my parents. When I turned pro, I was um, 16 years old. From the beginning, I'm not a good fighter and I don't have natural talent, but I have a determination to win the fight.